Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I will be showing y'all how to make this DIY palette wall art. You can obviously do any design that you would like. I chose these arrows. So first up, we will start with everything that you need to make it. First up, you will need some palette boards. Most big stores do have palettes in the back. I would recommend going in and asking if you can take them beforehand. You will also need some type of paint. I just have some leftover paint that I used to paint my walls. You will need a hot glue gun and colored hot glue sticks. I chose gold, but they also have glitter colors at the Dollar Tree in case you were interested. Now that I have cut my boards, I'm going to go ahead and sand them just to be sure there are no splinters poking out or anything like that. This will also take away any discoloration or marks that may be on the wood. I am using gloves for this just so I don't mess up my nails, but you don't have to wear gloves if you don't want. And this is how the boards look. As you can see, they are different from the front and the back, so you can choose which side you want as the front and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint them I used a very thick layer of paint just to be sure it filled in any holes that were on the wood and you do want to also paint these sides and top and bottom as well if you wanted to hang these on the wall you will need some hooks I am going to measure out the center of the board on the back and then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them down because the boards are very light but you can go ahead and use a nail or a screw if you would rather now I just pulled up a photo of some arrows just to get some inspiration on the design. Once your boards are dry, you're going to go ahead and draw out your design. I used a gel pen. That way it was easy to draw the design. I didn't have to push too hard and I can also wipe away anything that I didn't like. And now we're going to go ahead and use the hot glue gun with the gold hot glue sticks and just go right over the design. I did work in sections. That way the hot glue gun did have time to heat back up because once you glue a lot the hot glue gun does tend to cool down so you do want to be sure you wait for it to heat back up and this is how the first one came out and now I'm going to go ahead and do the second board and once you're finished that you are done with your palette wall art I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys